Hey, this is Dominic Pruitt. I'm going to go ahead and take you through a Windows VNC server install uh, to set up so that you can record using Camtasia. I've downloaded it and started the install for the VNC setup wizard. Click Next. Uh, general License Agreement. Go ahead and click Next through that. The location of where I want to actually put the, the files for the VNC server and viewer. Uh, a selection if I want both. I'm going to go ahead and select both for right now. But this would be to set up the VNC server so that you can do Camtasia recording on another machine. Hit next. Uh, yes, I want to call it Real VNC. And I want a desktop icon. And I do not want to start the VNC server every single time. Um, you want to start the VNC server for service mode. I'm gonna. I want to set up the VNC server so that I have to manually start it in order for it to run. All right. Confirming the rest of the information. Installing the files. And the server is installed. So the next thing I need to go through is, since I set it up so that I manually started, I got to go find it. Real VNC can set up for service mode. I'm on user mode. So I'm going to run the VNC server. And I'm going to go down to my system tray, which is just outside the viewing area here. Select options. So the VNC icon will actually appear in the um, system tray down toward the bottom, uh, where near the time and here for Windows. Anyway, one of the things I want to set up is a password in order to get onto the VNC server from a VNC viewer. So I set up a password. Connections, these are just default TCP IP connections. Inputs. Uh, in here I would actually select what inputs I want. Uh, by default I think all these are checked. Um, but what, since this machine will be acting as a uh, presentation machine. I'll be recording from a VNC viewer. Uh, I don't want any of the inputs from the VNC viewer to affect the uh, laptop here when presenting. So basically we deselect uh, all the options here. So you know, once the viewer connects, they can't do anything to, to advance the slide, uh, to, to modify anything on a demo. So sharing defaults you know you can go ahead and go through some of these and that's about it the VNC server is set up um, I'll go ahead and show connecting to a VNC server with no inputs from the VNC viewer uh, and, and showing presentation and using stuff on the desktop I'll also um, connect to a Mac and show you how to set that up Hey, this is Dominic Pruitt, and what I want to do is show you how to set up the VNC uh, server on a Mac OS. And let's see, about this Mac, uh, it's a version 10.5.8, it's a PowerPC G5, just to give you a little reference. Um, the VNC server is actually s part of the operating system. If I go into System Preferences and Sharing, under Remote Management, uh, this is where the selection is. I can set up computer settings. And VNC viewers may control a screen with password. This is the one you want to check and you want to add the password. And so once you do that, you have the ability to you know, connect to a Mac OS using VNC. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm already connected through VNC. I've set that up already, but kind of here's a little um, tips and tricks on how to connect. All right, I've closed off the VNC viewer. Uh, I've selected the VNC viewer. Uh, here's the IP address to the to the Mac. And the particular thing that you want to set here is the color level to be full. If it's by default this, this is what happens. Uh, you get a connection aborted for some reason. That doesn't tell you exactly what happened. Uh, no, I don't re want to reattempt. Start the viewer again. Select full color. Select OK, password, and I can connect to the Mac. Um, right now I can actually open stuff. 
So I'm opening Keynote here for a presentation. If I'm setting this up for recording, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go ahead and want to go into the options here and then deselect the inputs. Once I do this, say OK, uh, I can't click on anything, so I actually have to go to the Mac G5 to select and change. And in order to record, you know, I can actually record things. I really don't see the mouse on the on the um, on the screen here, as far as recording. But uh, one little tip I found is that when you actually get into presentation mode, you hit play. Um, for some reason, I'm not sure what's going on between the VNC server and the VNC viewer. I'm recording here on this um, Camtasia desktop here. Um, but when I advance the first slide, uh, it takes some time. So I hit, I'm actually clicking to advance the slide. And there's sometimes that takes a little while longer. This one was kind of quick. Advance the slide three, advance the slide four. I'm doing all this on the Mac now, since I'm not doing any input from uh, the actual VNC viewer. So when I'm done with that, I can get back into in, into the um, Mac OS here. I just want to show you one little thing on the display. I'm uh, I'm purposely set up a pretty small. 800 by 600 stretched. If I want to shoot in high def video 720p, I actually change my display and you'll see that the VNC viewer uh, adjusts it for the display. But now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and move this so that I'm just capturing the desktop. And that's probably a good spot. So now you no longer see the, you know, the the VNC title bar here, but you're actually doing, you're seeing the full desktop, uh, uh, 1280 by 720, which is 720p. If you render this out in 30 frames per second, with uh, stereo audio at I think 64, no, it's actually 128 ki 120 kilobits. Um, up to YouTube, it actually renders it in high def form. So that's what I wanted to show you: is you can actually change the display on the fly, and uh, you know, get back to the get back to the recording, open up, and if you want to display that, this is what it looks like in 720p. I'm originally recording this in 720, 12, 1280 by 720. Uh, if I advance the slide, click slide two, slide three, and just to let you know that this is a um, the Wi-Fi wi network, um, 50. Uh, it's the 802.11g standard, 52 megabits per second, and um, you know there's very little traffic on my network, so. Um, this is probably why the screen ref refreshes quite 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 fast, and uh, that's really about it. I wanted to show you the Windows setup and what it looks like within uh, within the Mac OS, and that's it. Hey, this is Dominic Pruitt, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and connect to a uh, VNC server that is on a uh, Windows XP laptop that I'm going to do some presentations from so that I can record I'm using Camtasia and I'm using Camtasia uh, recorder to record this so basically I point the VNC viewer at the IP address uh, of where the VNC server was I installed in a previous video here so if I connect to that I enter in the password that I set up and I'm connected here um, I purposely set the resolution to 800 by 600 just so that you see the full frame here. Again, VNC window. You see the VNC server process here. I can, uh, you know, since I, I'm trying to click on this, but I can't because the inputs have been disabled on the server side. So let me go ahead and move over to that server. So I'm on the server now. You saw the mouse movement. Um, there's one thing different with the with the the um, VNC server and viewer combination. It captures most everything. Uh, with the Mac, I didn't see the mouse movement, so 
I can go to options. Here's where I set up my it takes a little while to refresh, but here's where I set up my configuration, my connections, inputs. I disable all the inputs here. So as a presenter, I can set up the VNC server just so that I'm allowing a VNC viewer to connect to it. And then when I do that, I can, you know, open up with open up PowerPoint. I can do demos. And I'm all recording the I'm recording the video using Camtasia on another laptop and what I can also do is I can also record the audio along with the video in Camtasia if I use a microphone that allows uh, a wireless connection or at least some distance connection. Um, in a picture I'll show the setup I use where I have a uh, Shure PGX uh, wireless microphone setup uh, and then it it's an XLR output to that to a a Sentrance mic port pro which allows me to get the audio into the computer and uh, record that okay so here I am with the um, the PowerPoint I can move it around and I can click on things show show people what you know what it looks like slide three slide four or I can go into power I can go into presentation mode and I advance the slide again with the uh, VNC server and viewer combination it's quite quick and again this is over a Wi-Fi network so you know um, 802.11g speeds go through slide 3 slide 4 alright I'm ending that and just to show you you know I can I can transition the display resolution to again 720p or what would be recorded as 720p hit apply and you'll see that the VNC window has you know adjusted to the win the window size and you know there's the VNC window up here VNC computer name if I drag it up a little higher I can actually just get the resolution of the window in there and then once I do that, I can open up you know, a presentation in that format. Here's the presentation. Go to my slide two, go to my slide three, slide four. And this allows you to have a recording laptop using VNC Viewer to connect to a VNC server and that person is doing the presentation from the laptop. They could actually hop out of the presentation. They could do a demo. Anyway, that's it. I hope this was useful. Thanks a lot. Bye.